So let's wrap a little bit of captain tape on the connector which I'll later unwrap. Here you can find me heat shrinking uh, the fan shroud uh, wiring. So I'll be doing lots of uh, building of wiring relays, relay controls, uh, fuses and uh, etc. connectors on the fans. First, I measure the length where I want the cables to route and go. Then we add a little bit of wire to finish up the wire with the heat shrink, with the epoxy on it. Crimping grounding connector onto the wire. Actually, my grounding, uh, the idea behind this is to have my uh, grounding uh, like screwed on onto the shroud and the shroud by itself will be grounded to the bottom. Bought these mechanical pliers for the uh, like these are Sargent 3187 pliers and I bought them actually for open barrel splice crimps but they are, I, I don't know, I, I started loving them and I do all the crimps, all the all the splicing, all the like splice crimps uh, with them because they have really really stiff jaws to, to apply it to. Really measuring and seeing if the wires are going through. And now let's do the other half. And of course, as always, uh, first not to forget to add your uh, epoxy uh, heat rings uh, before you add the clamps, before you add the o-rings, before you crimp the o-rings at the end. And uh, two, two fans will have their own wire, uh, grounding wires uh, uh, bolted onto the shroud itself. So again, sergeant tool, uh, more pliers, more crimping, uh, and I'll pro I will probably use two relays. We'll have a fuse uh, because I didn't have enough wires to pass them through the firewall. So I'll just plug in the plus uh, the uh, plus voltage uh, from the alternator probably because the closest place where I can find it, and uh, I'll have a fuse close to these two relays. Uh, I know it doesn't look that great, but probably this is the best case I can do uh, actually here without having additional connector passing through the firewall. I'm measuring here the wires which will be used for the control, which will come from the EQ. We'll probably have the table uh, for enabling the fans, uh, like compensation over the table of, of the uh, coolant temperature. And 
and of course Sergeant Tools, Sergeant Clams, how they're called there, Crims all around. Always check your, actually always check your, your crimping, that wire doesn't move in inside of the place where you crimped it in, you can always see me checking it. This, this is the, sp the splices that they will look like. The one is uh, crimped to another that I wouldn't be using two, two uh, wires on it. And the third, uh, the, the, the ending of it will go out to the, to the DTM connector, which will be connected to the main, main wiring loop. Yeah, you can see it here. I'll, I'll just place it in, into the connector. And this is how you place in the lock pin into the TTM connector. A little bit of the year 25 finger. And this is how uh, the differences of my uh, wideband uh, connectors, the, the ones on the left side are uh, made and the old ones are from the AM, the, the colored ones, which are different. So this is my epoxy resin gun and the funny thing I forgot to click record while I was filling in the uh, knock sensor. So I'll be using the default factory built-in knock sensor and I soldered wire inside of that, that knock sensor and I filled in with the epoxy. And this is the knock sensor by itself. It has the shield around it, so I need to uh, remove that shield uh, to crimp uh, the ends of the, of the knock sensor wiring uh, into the connector. It is really hard to uh, fit the wire inside of the connector while you are also trying to film it. I did a decision where I crimped three wires into the connector. I actually needed to crimp one wire, but I think this adds a little bit more strain relief to the main uh, wire itself.
and of course a little bit more crimping at the end. Always check if your wires are locked in. You can see the uh, moving wire up and down trying to see if it's locked into the connector. Some service loops 